and welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today I wanted to talk to you about what I've done over the last five weeks trying to help organize my lessons. I've come up with a pretty simplified plan so far. Of course, I'll continue to improve it, but I wanted to share it with you now. Makes it easy for the students and for me. Let's dive in. For starters, I present this screen as the students are logging in. The directions are on the whiteboard for what they are to do during this time, just like you would in a classroom. Now during this time, while the countdown timer is going, I'm taking attendance, I'm making notes, I'm emailing students to get busy because I'm watching them through GoGuardian, things like that. No different than in the classroom. This is how I get them started with their warm-up. This is how we start our math lesson. And here is my actual math lesson. This is the warm-up. They would just click here and it will take them directly to the warm-up that they need to complete. And they would type their response here. And then when we come all together, I kind of give them an overview. They know pretty much now that this is just our overview. I go over our learning targets. And then for our warm-up, I had wanted to make sure I get them engaged. So first I have them typing their response here so they have an idea. Then I will share an interactive slide where everyone will be working on the same exact slide. What I do is I share this interactive slide deck in the chat. So I'll share a link in the chat and the students click on whichever one they chose that did not belong and it will take them to the correct slide. Once they get to their correct slide, they will see that they need to pick up a card. And I have plenty of cards, so if every student wants one, they just pick up a card, they fill it in, and once I see that everyone's had an opportunity, then we can go back and discuss what all the cards say. This is how I get all my students working on one slide deck and engaging. An easy little hack here is over here on the side and I'll open this up and I'll show it to the class. It shows every revision. So every time a student grabs a card and enters it here, it's gonna show that student's name over here in the revision history. And I show them and tell them that's how I'm keeping track of their engagement in the lesson and keeping track of points. Sometimes if I don't get too many engaging, I may tell them, hey, I'm gonna deduct points because you're not engaging. So everyone who's not on this list, you're gonna lose some points. Usually that'll get them going and I don't have to do anything extra. What I do at the end of the period, I can use the same setup all over again. I just go back to my original version and it saves every single period. The group, every time I go back to my original, it'll save the new group. So I can go back to lessons from a month ago and see the revision history and what they worked on. So this is a great way to get your students working together and engaging. So that's what I've done here. So then for each of their lessons, I have two instructional activities. I'll usually give them a few moments to try it, and then I will walk them through the steps. Each of these instructional activities is linked in the very first slide. So if they ever need to know where to go, they go to the first slide and they click on wherever we're at. So if they join us late and I can tell them, hey, we're on the 7.3 instructional activity. They click here. It will take them exactly to where we are at. I go through my slides. This is our lesson synthesis. We summarize everything. Then they have a cool down, kind of like their exit ticket. And what I have them do is I have them take a screenshot and I paste it here. Then I have them go in and do their practice problems. And I have them paste their score here. I also include their glossary vocabulary words and then they can reveal the answers here so that they can take note of them and have them. That's how the entire lesson is structured. I do just make a copy of this and I change all the elements for my next lesson. It's keeping it very uniformed, very nice for the students. And then at the end of the day, when I have to have my office hours, I share this screen this is their tutoring time if they need to come to tutoring. But I don't want to have to sit here and just stare at the blank screen. I want to be able to work and do what I need to do. And if students come on, 
it tells them right here, unmute your mic, say hello, let me know you're here. And then I can immediately switch over to them and help them out. Hopefully this will help you get organized. Remember, step out and be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.